Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back. So today I have a autumn transitional wardrobe video. So I know you guys asked for this all through the summer and I just didn't bother because 90% of the summer was spent indoors and in loungewear. But now we're in autumn and we're actually getting back to normal in life. I thought I would do a little kind of like edit for my autumn wardrobe. So these are some of my favorite videos to film. Um, my wardrobe in general is not very trend focused. I don't follow a lot of um, kind of like here and now trends. I tend to get pieces that are more kind of staples, more classic items, and therefore my wardrobe works for a lot of different seasons, but different pieces will come in and out as we go through the year. So I have a mix of things, because we're kind of going from like early autumn through to late autumn, so kind of covering all the weather. So I have some blazers, some jeans, skirts, knitwear, and then some coats, and then also I'm gonna touch on shoes and jewelry as well. I'm gonna just say right off the bat, there is building work going on next door, and I'm really sorry if you can hear it throughout the video, but I really have to get this filmed today and um yeah there's nothing i can really do about it if it gets too bad i will stop and well hopefully let it settle but yeah i just want to say sorry if you can hear it i'm going to start on jewelry because i'm wearing a lot of it at the minute and i also have some pieces behind me that i'm going to show you before we get into the video all of these pieces will work with literally every single um thing on the rail these outfits are all going to be like interchangeable so all these knits will work with all these jeans and all these skirts will work with all these knits and jackets and all that kind of stuff so everything kind of works together um, and this jewelry works with everything as well everything i'm going to show you is from missima of course you guys know i absolutely love the brand they're such a staple in my wardrobe as well because i wear them every single day but also the same as my clothes when the seasons change or when they bring out new pieces i like to kind of swap in and out different things also going from like day to night i like to swap out different pieces or add different pendants but their new autumn winter campaign is called let us create which i love basically they want to build a more confident collaborative and creative community and they want everybody to feel this when they are wearing their pieces which i really really like so we are all trying to be a little bit more environmentally conscious and also curb our consumerism so wearing the summer pieces are amazing you kind of get two for one in this latest collection which i love so as you can see um i've already spoke about this as well on my a few vlogs ago but this little pendant you can buy a lot of these things separately and you can add them onto different necklaces and then you're getting a whole new kind of like look of jewelry just from a pendant or just from a different chain so they're all super super versatile which i love and i feel fits in perfectly with my wardrobe so i'm wearing some of the new autumn winter collection now so i will talk you through what i'm wearing at the minute and then i'm going to show you some of the new pieces that i also have over there and then we can get into the clothing side of it okay so mainly i have um some new lockets to show you and then i'll show you some of the chains but what i'm wearing at the minute is this little chain necklace here which is just a staple for me i think I actually have two of these now. These also look amazing stacked as like two of the same necklace or paired up with something chunkier, but because I'm wearing quite a simple top, but a very simple top, I thought pairing this kind of thicker flat chain with this simple little necklace here and then two pendants on it, I thought would be so cute. And I'm actually obsessed with this little combination. And also if you can see there, I have a little gold belt on with this big buckle. And because everything else I'm wearing is black, I feel like the golds really, really complement each other. So on my neck at the minute, I have this really cute little gold chain. If you can see there, it does have these kind of like little balls all the way up it which just adds a really nice subtle bit of detailing um, and then I have these two pendants which as I say you can remove and put onto different things but the first is this little gold key pendant which I absolutely love it's really nice and simple I think this would be absolutely stunning to give someone as a little present as well I think it's gorgeous maybe if like they've got a new house or for a birthday um, and then with that I've layered it up with this little pendant here which is called the gold onyx locket and can you see how beautiful that is I'm absolutely in love with it. It's very, very simple. It's just got a little kind of pearl in the middle and then this little black detailing. Okay, so then moving on to my arm, I have a piece from the new Autumn Winter Collection. This is called the Gold Chunky Twist Bracelet. Super, super simple, but I just really like these links. I think they are super impactful. So I've left it plain at the minute, but you can definitely add a little pendant to that. I thought just it being plain looked really, really cute as well though. And I feel like it doesn't need a pendant. But then I also have some of the pendants. Um, one is new and one I had from a little while ago. Go. this is one of my new ones it's called the gold opalite hex pendant it's absolutely beautiful has little kind of like opal stones in it let me try and focus there you go 
look how gorgeous that is and then if you can see up here there's this little clip which you just clip onto anything onto one of the thicker chains or your bracelet or onto your necklace so i think that would look really really gorgeous as well on this just dangling down and um, but then also i have some options like this this is like my little sphere pendant and um, i have this in two sizes i have it in the bigger size and also this little one again i think that would be super cute hanging off this bracelet or just hang onto the chain as well okay so this is also from the new collection it's called the gold chunky twist necklace i probably would wear this one on its own as well as stacked up i feel like it's super cool quite thick very impactful i feel like it doesn't need a pendant again um but you can definitely add one and also as you can see there it matches in with my bracelet and then just to show you how it looks if you put a little pendant on it you just literally clip it on to any little bit and then it will just hang really really nicely down there and i think that is so beautiful i'm also seeing this in summer with like a white crisp open shirt and like a tan chest and then this kind of just hanging down in the middle i think it would be absolutely stunning but then of course i have my little collection now of different chains and different pendants that i've been collecting over the last i'd say hmm probably like two months so i have really cool funky ones like this um which are thicker at one side and thinner at the other side i also have like matching bracelets but all of these work interchangeably you can take off pendants from one add pendants to another you can also not wear a pendant so i feel like these are a really really good way to take you from day to night so say i was like, at work and then i wanted to go out for dinner in the evening you could wear a very simple one with no pendant um and then come evening you can add whatever pendant you want onto it and also maybe like stack up add a little bit more more, make it more kind of impactful they are super handy to have in the wardrobe i absolutely love them i feel like you definitely get more for your money because you can be adding on different pendants creating kind of like whole new different necklaces and bracelets but also they allow you to be really creative and i think that's just super super fun and then just to finish off with what i'm actually wearing at the minute these are called the large gold claw ridge hoops so i've worn these before in videos they look super cute again quite statement though i have stacked my neck i feel like it is quite simple stacking so i feel like you can really get away with a big chunky earring and then i've added in my gold claw cuff into the middle of my ear just because i feel like that always really really finishes off my ear but again with stacking your ears you can be super creative you can add different hoops in the front you can add different cuffs i personally really love changing up my jewelry to completely transform an outfit and take it as i say day to night through the seasons um and just kind of mix and match everything okay so Moving on to the clothing section, I will start kind of from pieces that we can wear like now and then I'll go into things that are maybe for when it gets a little bit colder. So starting on blazers, I am obsessed with blazers, you guys probably know that by now. I have so many of them, so many different styles and so many different materials, but I have pulled two classic black ones. So the first one is a new one actually from Zara. This one is more of an oversized, super slouchy, super chilled piece. It's also in a much lighter material than the one I'm gonna show you next. So it's perfect for this time of year. I love wearing these with skirts, with jeans. What I'm wearing right now, I would definitely stick a blazer over the top of this. And then roll up the sleeves and add boots or loafers or whatever you wanna wear. But they literally work with so many different outfits. They also look absolutely insane, paired with quite a chunky neck or a stacked up neck. Where's my other necklace gone? There it is. <laughs> this outfit I've already worn and I was wearing these necklaces. I had this blazer on and because it's quite a smart, simple look, having quite a cool neck with necklaces and chunky earrings, I think always looks really, really nice with blazers. So that's the first one I've picked out. It's super simple, as I say, quite a lightweight, kind of oversized. Also where this one is quite slouchy, as I said, and kind of oversized, it works really well, layered up with knits. Um, and more kind of like th thicker jumpers. However, because we are in autumn and we're gonna be getting colder and colder, I've pulled a blazer that's a little bit more thick. So this one is super old from H&M. I have literally looked on the website consistently since I got it, like a year and a half ago, I think, maybe two, to try and find it and it's still not come back in. But I know that M&S do a really good dupe. So again, it's kind of oversized, it's kind of bigger and slouchier. Although this one, I would say, is definitely a mix of a blazer and a jacket. Um, it's a lot heavier to hold, it's a lot thicker on. And this is the kind of thing I reach for when it gets a little bit colder because it does keep me warm in the colder days. I mean, I wear blazers with literally everything and I wear them so many times a week, but I feel like they are absolutely essential in an auto wardrobe. I also really, really love them for elevating an outfit. So for the days where I literally just wanna wear a pair of jeans and a comfy knit, if you put on a blazer and either a pair of boots or trainers or loafers or anything on your feet, it will automatically make you look more put together, a lot more smart, and it just creates a really nice chic look. Next, I'm gonna talk about jeans. I have pulled four different styles, four slightly different colors. We'll start off with these ones. So I feel like a pair of straight leg trousers are so essential. I think they look a lot more chic than say a skinny jean. 
I think they work really well with blazers. They're kind of like that preppy chic look. And you can pair them with knits or t-shirts or little tops like I'm wearing now. But if you can see, they're just a very simple straight leg. These are Topshop, they're my favorites. They also have a little raw hem down there as well. So straight leg jeans I tend to wear with loafers or trainers. I don't tend to wear them too much with boots just because I feel like they're not as flattering. Um, I also really like how they sit kind of on the ankle and then you get a really good look at the shoe. These are definitely a staple. As I say, I pair them with literally every single kind of top. I wear them with leather jackets. I wear them with blazers. You can even just wear them with like a thicker knit and then layer up underneath for warmth. And then I also love to add a really chunky statement belt. So maybe something like I'm wearing now would look really, really nice with these. So I'm gonna with black um, and these are a pair of Topshop Joni jeans they're exactly the same as the ones I'm wearing now they are such a fail safe um, but with skinny jeans I really don't wear them throughout spring summer I tend to stay far away from them I don't really like them paired with blouses and things like that I much prefer a skinny jean with a skinny top and then a blazer and boots or loafers so where it's gonna get a little bit more chilly I do find a skinny jean keeps me nice and warm um, and these ones in particular I've picked to show you because they have belt loops not all of them come with belt loop so I always make sure to try and get them just because I feel like belts really really finish off an outfit especially where what I'm wearing now it's kind of like simple jeans a simple top I feel like a belt just cinches in my waist defines the top and the bottom and I think it actually really finishes off an outfit because I'm going to pull these blue jeans the blue jeans are kind of a funny one for me I tend to wear them a lot more again through spring summer but I do like a good pair throughout autumn winter I feel like you have to get the right wash of denim it can't be too summery I don't really like rips uh, in the knees and things in autumn winter because purely I'm gonna get cold um, but these are a nice kind of like vintage style jean. These are from weekday. They are a really nice thick denim. So I feel like they're actually going to be quite warm. I think they can look really, really chic paired with a knit and some boots or loafers or trainers again. I'm going to say boots, loafers and trainers because that's all I wear. Um, but if you can see at the front of these, they have that little kind of crossover detailing of the button. Um, I've seen quite a lot of people do this on Instagram where what they actually do is they not the button through a belt loop and then they tie it that way and it gives this effect whereas this just has that effect on it anyway i think it's such a tiny little add-on um it's really not that obvious but i think it adds a lot to the jeans these are also a straight leg jean so they just come down into the kind of like same length all the way down however these ones come a little bit longer than the top shot ones so the top shot ones as i said sit at your ankle these ones kind of come all the way down to your foot so I think they look really cool with trainers and the jean kind of just sat over the trainer this kind of outfit I absolutely love it's super simple the jeans are kind of like the statement um I would probably pair it with a knit like this white one and keep the palette quite light and bright but then I would really really stack up my neck so maybe I would start with something like this chain the flat chain but I'd probably add like a thicker necklace over it do quite an impactful ear also have this cuff but in the really really thick version so you could put that on maybe do a low bun so all of your jewelry is really on show and then a pair of trainers and I think that would look really really nice final pair of jeans I picked will only be in my wardrobe for kind of like the early autumn like as soon as it starts to get rainy or cold these are going to go into the summer wardrobe but I thought I would pick them to show you because they are really really nice they're a really good alternative to a black jean or a blue jean so I feel like these would be perfect for the days where it's nice and blue skies and it looks sunny but actually it's a little bit cold I feel like these keep the kind of summer vibe um, nice and light and airy as I said but also nice and warm because they are jeans these are quite a thin denim so if it was getting a little bit more chilly I would just put a pair of sports leggings underneath them it's a little tip I do all the way through autumn winter pair of sports leggings underneath your jeans and you will keep very very warm these I'm gonna pair it with something like my Vejas and keep the palette really nice and light again I'd probably reach for a nice light knit like this cream one you have a really nice plain palette to work with which again I think lends itself super well to a lot of jewelry especially gold jewelry I love gold and I love cream together so that's my jeans I've pulled I feel like if you had all four of these jeans or variations of you've got a straight leg crop you've got a straight leg long you have a simple classic black skinny and then something like a little bit of a wild card thrown in there i think you've covered all basis of your jeans next i had to include some skirts because i'm obsessed with mini skirts i wear them literally all year round um just before i get into them a little tip as i just said put on some sports leggings if you think you're going to be cold and you will keep a lot warmer so I've pulled very, very classic colours. Again, I've gone for one black and I've gone for one cream. I thought pulling just these two classic styles would carry you through, but also take you day to night. And also you can make so many different outfits with just these two. So the first is probably my newest midi skirt purchase. This really nice kind of cream one is pleated on the top, if you can see there. Um, and then it comes down into these more kind of wide pleats 
has a little bit of detailing on it so it has kind of like this little stitched in pattern which from a distance is not very obvious but also from a distance it's kind of giving me like a floral print vibe. It's so, so cute and I feel like this is super, super versatile. Again, you can wear this one with knits, you can wear it with little t-shirts, you can wear it with thinner knits, and then you can add blazers, leather jackets. You can really kind of do whatever you want with midi skirts. Another reason I really love them is because they work for day and night and you can wear them with loafers to look a little bit more smart or you can put on a pair of trainers and it's just a really comfy, easy look. Because I find midi skirts to be quite simple, I do always like to add jewelry. Um, I feel like I go either one of two ways with them. I either will add quite a stacked up neck and quite a lot of earrings or I will wear nothing at all and just keep it very very minimal so again with this color you can probably see how cute gold would look with it that gold complements it really really well of course you can change out your pendants you can add a thicker chain so I feel like this kind of chain from the new autumn winter collection that I just showed you would look so beautiful because it is quite a thicker necklace I would wear it with quite a simple top like I'm wearing now so that the full effect of the chain is shown I also feel like the white color works super well when it's a little bit warmer when we're not really cold and gray and miserable coming into I mean I wear these all through summer as well but coming into the more kind of colder days I am pulling out this little black skirt I have shown this numerous times on YouTube it's such a fail safe for me um, and I literally wear it all your round so this one is more of like a classic style it's pleated it's got a really nice kind of zipped up waistband so it's really nice and snug but a very very simple design as well and um, this one I always tend to keep all black so I'll wear a top like I'm wearing now to go a little bit more chic adding necklaces like this to bring more attention to the neck um, but you can really pair it with anything. You can do a really chunky oversized black knit. You can do a little t-shirt tied up um, and all of these things work brilliantly with jewelry as well and I think it really helps to tie off the outfit. So again, I've gone for only a few different styles. Um, coming into winter, my knitwear section would be the whole rail. <laughs> but for autumn, I've just pulled a few. So. You guys have seen quite a lot of these styles already because I've spoken about them quite a lot. The first one is this little jumper from H&M. Can you see the little neckline there? I love this so much. Um, it has tight little cuffs here as well. I've just said that you'll have seen it, but I don't think you have. I think that video is coming out on Sunday. This is just a really nice, simple knit. This neck is a really great alternative to what you think of as a classic knitted jumper. Um, and also, you know what I'm gonna say about this neck. How well does that lend itself to a really gorgeous neck full of beautiful jewelry? So these jumpers are gonna work with all the bottoms on the rail, so it's gonna work with every single one of those jeans and both of these skirts and literally blazers, jackets, everything again. For me, what I'm gonna say is take a pair of straight leg jeans to keep it a nice, chilled, sophisticated look add this jumper and tuck it in to the waistline. I'd probably add a belt as well, just to break up the top and the bottom. And then I'm gonna go quite heavy on my neck. So I'd probably do a combination like this, or I would add a choker on top as well, or I'd do two kind of like thicker chains and then a pendant. And where this jumper is cut like so, you're gonna have your neck, like your necklaces here obviously, and then any kind of pendant you have will just sit into this little dip here, and I think it will look so beautiful. And next I pulled a white one, which you've already seen, um, but this is my oversized pick so this is my newest knit purchase um, it's a very very simple cream oversized cozy jumper this one I absolutely love you can probably see it's quite a shapeless style it's just very very relaxed very simple I feel like this kind of neck sits just a little bit higher than what a normal neckline would I think looks amazing with jewelry especially again cream and gold I love but where this neckline is thicker it's lending itself really nicely to a necklace like this one I'm wearing now this would just sit across this neckline and then you can have something hanging down below it as well I feel like again because I said it's a very blank canvas whatever you put on top will really be the focus final knit I picked was quite a thin one so it's very similar to what I'm wearing now but it doesn't have shoulder pads so it's just a kind of in-between season knit for me actually it's not even a knit I don't really know what you'd call this material but can you kind of see it's like elastic and very very thin again this will work with everything it will work with the jeans it'll work with the skirts and um, this is a great alternative if it's not that cold so you can wear a thinner knit underneath and then you can put on your thicker blazer and then you'll keep warm but not too warm but these are great all through autumn winter i also wear them for layering so if i'm wearing a big jumper like this one i can put a little jumper like this underneath it you won't see it but it's just giving you that nice extra warmth and then the final category i have are my jackets jacket season is here almost absolutely love jackets i have a very big collection of them and as you can probably see from the jackets up everything is very very simple and plain there isn't much to it in summer obviously you have really cute dresses and you have blouses and things like that but for autumn winter my wardrobe 
strips back completely and becomes very very simple so i feel like your coat is where the outfit really is taken to a next level say like four out of seven days a week in autumn winter i'm wearing something super super simple like i've got on now and so to keep the warmth on you need a jacket but you need a really nice jacket i pulled four different styles the first i'm gonna just quickly skim over because again i've spoken about this 110 times it's my leather jacket i love leather jackets they go with everything i mean i wear them all year round and wear them with every single outfit and i just think they look really really good the one i'm reaching for most at the minute it's fitted but it's got enough room to fit jumpers under it and um, it's definitely in a biker style it's got a lot of silver hardware which i love and um, it's just a really good staple piece the other day whilst i was unpacking because i'm still not unpacked in this house I came across my gilet from last year. This is such a staple for me throughout autumn winter and I've said it to go along with another jacket because that's where I tend to wear the most. So when you get a little bit colder in autumn winter, one of my favorite ways to add warmth without having to be in a big bulky jacket is to wear my leather jacket and put this over the top and then the leather and the fur just look so cool together again i'm going to wear it over something very very simple most likely a plain black outfit so i keep referring to what i'm wearing now just because i live in this throughout the next few months but yeah i really really love a leather jacket paired with a gilet so i'm going to pull my trench coat this is one of my newest purchases as well in the coat department um a trench coat is an absolute fail safe throughout autumn winter There's not much to say about a trench coat but it is just one of my favorite styles to wear throughout autumn and when it's a little bit warmer still but there is a chill in the air these are my go-to's they look so cool with jeans um, again with jeans I'm going to be reaching for a cropped pair like these Topshop ones so the cropped straight legs one of those things that are just super effortless you literally can just chuck it on the top of any simple outfit look really cool and it will keep the chill off your back as well the other way I like to wear a trench is with a plain white t-shirt underneath it so you're keeping the palette quite light again and then where you can see this V you're lending yourself really nicely to more of a simple neck I'd say so I would probably not wear this chain but I would keep a little pendant on like this the locket and the key over a little white t-shirt will make it stand out a lot but then you could also reach for a knit like this one with the higher neck you kind of come out the top of that trench and then you again are lending yourself to a really nice necklace so i have one more jacket to show you it's probably a little bit premature because i'm looking outside and it is hot it's a hot day it's muggy and you do not need this jacket right now coming into the next few months this is what's making me excited so i saw this on topshop recently i was so scared that if i waited it would sell out and i had to get my hands on it and i'm so glad i did so this is a very very cool oversized kind of giving me like paddington bear vibes it's quite similar to the cut and the style of a trench coat but obviously it's very much a winter coat it has a big collar it has big buttons it has these buttons on the sleeves um, and it comes down to about mid calf i'm gonna hang this back up because it's very very heavy on my arm but where this is a khaki piece it's going to work well with a lot of my wardrobe as i keep saying i wear a lot of black so khaki works brilliantly with my wardrobe it is really fun to buy coats that are a little bit more trendy and a little bit more bright and colorful but for me personally in my wardrobe i don't get a lot of wear out of things like that whereas this jacket i know will last me all of this autumn winter but also can take me through the next few years as well because it's not that trendy and i know it's going to work with my wardrobe for years to come so that is the end of my video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I will link everything down below that I can. And if I can't find the exact things, I will link similar ones, of course. But of course, also link all of my jewelry, all my new Misma pieces. I will link everything that I have on and everything that's new that I've showed you down below. But I will also link some of my other favorite pieces as well. Because as I've been saying, with the pendants, remember, you completely mix and match your necklaces. So you can easily go and buy a few different pendants and add them onto existing chains. Or if you don't have a chain, get a chain get a few different lockets and then you're going to be able to have three or four different necklaces just from buying a few different pendants so it's a really really cool concept it also lets you be creative and figure out what one looks best that day so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed that if you did please make sure to give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe and i'll see you all in the next video bye